Scenes from MWR's Family Pet Center. A fire last night caused major damage to the pet center, especially in the grooming and kennel areas. According to center business manager Kim Gunderman, all the pets that were kenneled at the center have been accounted for and are alive and well. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. We'll have more in the next issue of The Sound Off. Also this week, tis the season for changes of command. Meet the newest commanders from the 704th and 780th. A visit from the MDW Command Sergeant Major, plus a look at Fort Meade's red, white, and blue celebration. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spen. Leaving our show this morning, the 704th Military Intelligence Brigade welcomed a new commander in ceremonies on McLaughlin Parade Field this morning. Over the past two years, it's been an absolute privilege and honor serving as the commander of this great organization serving alongside the best and the brightest that our nation has to offer. Our brigade has led efforts in providing operational intelligence support to the National Security Agency, the Army, and to many of our joint, combined, and interagency partners throughout the world. I am truly humbled and honored to take command of this brigade and look forward to serving with you and the civilians and the families of this great team. In a very related story, the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade received a new commander in ceremonies last week. Major General George Franz, Commanding General of the U.S. Army Intelligence and Security Command, presided over the change of command from Colonel William Hartman to Colonel John Branch. We're dogged determination and incredible leadership at team, company, and battalion and brigade staff level resulted in unprecedented number of firsts across the Department of Defense and U.S. Cyber Command. I would just like to highlight a few of those firsts. The first DOD organization to have all of its Cyber Mission Force teams to reach IOC. The first unit to integrate offensive cyber capabilities with tactical formations at combat training centers. The first to build a training program that produces enlisted tool developers. The first organization to provide an operational cyber platform with required mission command to support cybercom operations. Thank you all for sharing time today honoring past accomplishments and renewing commitment to advancing us even further. I'm humbled to be among you all. Army Strong. In other news, Fort Meade Garrison Command Sergeant Major Rodwell Forbes introduces Military District of Washington Command Sergeant Major Timothy Gooden. He was here to talk with mid-level NCOs, not just about the Not In My Squad initiative, but a larger story of re-empowering Army NCOs after years and years of deployments. But it, it's not for the fact that you are screwing it's not that at all. Because quite honestly, if there's a finger to point, it's a finger to point in my cohort uh, and leaders that are senior in the Army right now because as I'm getting ready to tell you, the way that I see it, uh, when things kind of developed this way, it started going down the rabbit hole that we're going down right now. It's, it started a good 15 years. Gooden emphasized again and again that junior NCOs aren't the problem and that this process will lead to better understanding of NCO roles and expectations. Elsewhere, Undersecretary of the Army Patrick Murphy is hosting a town hall with Installation Management Command. The Undersecretary will answer questions and discuss how INCOM's transformation supports Army readiness. The town hall is coming up Tuesday, June 28th from 4 to 5 p.m. The feed will appear on the INCOM website at incom.army.mil. Meanwhile, the Independence Day holiday celebration begins at Fort Meade Friday, July 1st. The annual Red, White and Blue celebration starts at 4 p.m. in a McLaughlin Parade Field. Musical artists Jared Mahone and the band Till September are the featured musical entertainers. There will be plenty of food vendors as always, kids activities and much, much more. The fireworks are scheduled to begin at 9.30. One note, the kids rides and attractions will close at 8. Stay tuned for any further updates. That's all for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Meade week. U.S. Army Installation Management Command. We are the Army's home. IMCOM is the critical command that keeps the Army going on a day-to-day -day basis. IMCOM enables readiness, prepares for the future fight, and takes care of soldiers and their families. Our Army must conduct challenging, realistic training, and IMCOM provides and maintains the facilities to do just that. We provide the Army and our nation with power projection platforms that generate ready and resilient troops to meet the uncertain and complex challenges of the future. IMCOM prepares for the future fight by engaging in innovative partnerships with public and private entities to streamline services, reduce costs, build communities, and move the Army toward a net zero energy environment. All these work together to save money and help us build the agile and adaptive force of the future. U.S. Army Installation Management Command. We are the Army's home.